Indeed, uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of work uh, to do. I think uh, uh, you know, the, the relationship, even though it's historically very strong, had, had uh, fallen a little uh, off the priority list over the past years. And I'm glad to bring it back because uh, not just the economic opportunity. I mean, we, we signed a, a deal with Ali, Alibaba for a brand new Can Canada Pavilion, which uh, I hope is going to give uh, access to uh, the hundreds of millions of middle class in China, uh, great quality Canadian products. Uh, but also understanding that uh, the ties that go beyond econo economics, uh, people to people, tourism ties, the families that have uh, family members on either side, the cultural ties. There is so much that we can draw on from each other, so much we can uh, challenge ourselves with each other to, to grow and to improve that uh, I'm excited about it. I mean, CEC does. I look forward to meeting with a number of you uh, when you come to, uh, to Canada in October. Responsible. We know that a stronger and deeper relationship with China... Well, Canada has already a strong presence in building infrastructure in China, whether it's uh, housing or nuclear plants or trains. Uh, Canada is building high-quality infrastructure in China, across Asia, around the world. So we come with a significant amount of expertise. Uh, but being able to, to join in uh, this uh, excellent initiative of the AIIB that uh, China is leading on that is uh, going to create opportunities not just for uh, citizens in China but for citizens across Asia to get uh, access to good infrastructure. I mean we know investments in infrastructure create good jobs in the short term but lead to productivity gains and growth uh, in the long term and that's, that's something that's really important.